great folklore tale about the Major's time. One of the great stories that people talk about to this day with real relish, especially because from a punting aspect, people got so carried away by Nashwan and the gallop that he did that sent everybody in the yard scurrying to get on anti-post for the guineas after he did one bit of work pre-guineas. What, what can you recall from that? Well, I remember it like it was yesterday. So I was with Dick Hearn and Simon Weinstock, you know, the Weinstock family. You know, had a lot of horses yeah. with Dick Hearn and Troy. Then, yeah, fantastic yeah. horses, some princess, yeah. you know, yeah. all good horses. And uh, eventually, Lord Weinstock um, very kindly um, trusted me with quite a few. Um, so um, that day, Simon was out. We didn't have any mobile telephones. No. Um, but Simon had one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and it looked like a brick with a sort of scrawny arrow coming out the top. And um, he was watching the work with, 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 with all of us. And, um, um, he was the first one to, to ring his father and tell him that he'd seen this stunning bit of work. So who, who did Nashwan work with that day? Well, I think we had a, we had a couple of lead horses for him, but um, some, one worked out, one didn't. And um, um, so it was more that. There's more the way he, he picked up and more the way he demolished, right. demolished his, his lead horse and the way he came away. They worked the opposite way of a trial ground, so they worked away from the road up towards um, uh, Scotchman's Knob, as it's called. And, uh, <laughs> Not to do a Scotsman, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway they, they worked, it was a tremendous bit of work. And, this um, was in Illsley, Mark? This was in West Illsley, yeah. Ilsley. Where we, you know, the, the trial ground was, Dick Ham was a, a, um, a great believer in um, walking his gallops every day, and you know, his gallops were immaculate, and he was, he was fantastic, and he taught me a lot about ground management, which yeah. I, eventually, I was able to take to Lambourne with me. Yeah. And, um, those gallops in Lambourne that we had later, where Dick Hearn trained and then I trained eventually, yeah. um, they got better and better and better with Sheikh Hamdan's help and investment. You know, and um, they, they were superb. I remember, yeah. I remember when I left, that was the one thing I um, regretted was I, yeah. I had to leave my grass behind. <laughs> so, when, what was the major's reaction to, to Nashwan's gallop? Well, we, was he calm about it, or was he? I think um, he, he was, you know, he, I always thought he was his best when things weren't going very well. Oh, right. He was one of these people when, you know, when his back was to the wall, he was fantastic, you know. When things were really getting yeah. seriously bad, yeah. he was really, you know, it was like a terrier. He'd fight his way out <laughs> yeah. of it. And it's probably a military thing in many ways. Um, but, you know, the, the pressure was on when, when this horse did this magic bit of work, because, um, you know, he was always going for the derby. Mm. And Sheikh Hamdan, when we was reported to him how well he'd worked, he said, well, why didn't he run the Guineas? And it was a bit of an afterthought, really. Right. And obviously he had all the entries. Yeah. Like when you train a really good horse, you, you know, it's amazing what it costs in entry fees. You have to really blanket enter them as you never know, yeah. you know, what will happen. And so, and when Sir Percy was in training as a three-year-old, I think we spent about 25,000 pounds in entry His fees. Entry. Wow. You know, keeping well ended up in everything. And of course it pays off, you know, mm. if you get a really good one like that. But um, anyway, I was, I was thought, well, that's too late. I saw Simon getting on his mobile. There's no way I'll get on for the Guineas. So I, <laughs> I, I backed him for the Derby at the time. And, right. and um, what, what price was he then? You know? Oh, I remember. Um, you know, I can't quite remember, but I backed him all the way through to actual the day of the Derby. Oh, really? I backed him again on the rails several times. God. And I remember um, when he sort of, you know, sluiced up, and yeah. it was all. I was so exciting, and I went down below the stands where you could at Epsom at the time and yeah. opened a bottle of champagne with an ex-girlfriend, I think. Oh, I suppose, perhaps I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was all fun at the no time. No one's watching. It was all fun at the time. <laughs> and, um, and anyway, when I came back, of course, the bookmaker cleared off. Oh, no. Yeah, and it, it was quite a bit of money. And um, anyway, of course, I had the bet betting slip and everything yeah. else. And um, anyway, I said to Dick Hannon, what do you do? Is, and he said, how much is it? And he said, you've no right, he said, to put that sort of money on. He said, that's, yeah, it was several thousand. Really? And he yeah. said, you know, it's a serious thing, Marcus. And I said, yeah. it's a serious thing if I don't get the, <laughs> <laughs> get the winnings. He so got it in the end. And I got it in the end, yeah. And in, in those days, you know, it was a lot of money and, yeah. um, you know, but I suppose, you know, I saved everything up and I didn't have responsibilities. That's a, that's a big foresight, though, to, yeah. to, to have your money on before the guineas for the derby, just on one piece of work on the gallops. Well, you know, we'd seen him as a two-year-old. I mean, I, when, when he was a two-year-old, um, Dick Hearn spent a lot of time in hospital, and I was um, very much uh, part of organizing the work with the head lad and, mm. and, the, and the team. And one day, we had a horse called Paycor leading the work, I think, um, and a horse called Road to Reason, yeah. and a, a very good horse called Prince of Dance. Who'd and won Nash, 
he won the Zoo Hearst. Yeah. And Nash won sitting last in this piece of work. Oh, Al Hareb as well, who won the... Who won the oh, the um, Futurity. Yeah, yeah, he well done. Yeah, he yeah. did. And uh, they're all in the same bit of work, and it seemed to be crazy at the time, you know. But, you know, we had huge gaps, 200 plus acres, 250 yeah. acres plus of grass there, and big wide strips, you know. Anyway, um, Nash one was always kept in behind. But I remember thinking, I've never seen two yeah. go as fast right. in my life, and never have done since. And I thought, you know, Nash one just crept, 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 and then just came and sat with them. And I thought, this must be something special. Oh. I am getting goosebumps hearing stories about Nashwan and 